Yo, what's happening out there guys? Roll Easy's back with another solo money glitch video. This is a solo money glitch workaround from the last one. I didn't get to post it, but this is just a slight workaround from the one that's been going around. Haven't posted many money glitches, so I thought, why not? We still got the DM glitch working. I actually just got white joggers last night. I'm going to post a picture on my Twitter if you guys want to check that out. But apart from that, we're going to get onto this glitch. So, uh, the founders, there's a lot of them, so I'm just going to link them down in the description. Apart from that, this works on Xbox One and PS4. And guess what guys, I'm doing this tutorial on my Xbox. I know a lot of you want that, so here you go. An Xbox tutorial, PlayStation is even easier, but it's awesome. Okay, so you want to start off in a public session. You don't want to do this in an invite only or a friends only, nothing like that. It needs to be done in a public session and you're going to see why. So, apart from that, what you do want to, what you do need is a facility and you need it to be full, okay? You need at least one LG Retro Custom or a Benny's vehicle that you plan on selling. It needs to have a custom plate like the ones you see right here. And I recommend a, a bike that's unique from all the other bikes you got. I'm going to be using a Sanchez, okay? So I only have one Sanchez in any of my garages and it's in this one, all right? Now I recommend the rest of the cars in here are Fagios or RH8s, things you don't mind getting rid of, okay? So that's basically the setup right there you really don't need much more apart from that so just make sure if you're on xbox go into a free aim session uh you know join your friends in assisted aim do some stuff like that okay you can even join communities and join people like that all right so go outside on foot open up your motorcycle club menu request that sanchez or whatever bike that's unique in your facility playstation get a recent activity ready xbox we have a friend ready in a different targeting mode drive up to the facility you're just going to drive right in Open up your dashboard and go ahead and join that friend in a different session. Accept the first alert, sit on the second alert. PlayStation, you guys are basically doing the same thing, but right when that animation starts, you're double tapping the PS button and you're going to that recent activity, you're hitting start GTA online, and you're sitting on that second alert. Now, for this part of the tutorial, you want to just sit here on this alert. Now you want to sit here on this alert until you stop hearing the noise of the elevator, all right? This is why we're doing this in a public session. Doing this in an invite only, for some reason, the elevator noise just will never stop. I've tried it, it just doesn't stop. So that's why you need to be in a public session, okay? So right now, we're just waiting here. You'll be able to hear it in the background, don't worry. It takes anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds, I would say. Once you're clear and you know that that elevator sound has stopped, you wanna go ahead and decline the alert and you should be flashing and stuff all over under the map, all right? So you're gonna see that right here, just like this. So now go ahead and press Y or triangle. You're gonna get off the bike and you're gonna fall into the map and spawn back down on the road. Now be careful not to get killed because it could mess up the glitch and you'll have to restart from the beginning, okay? So don't get run over or anything like that. Now, go ahead and grab a streetcar. Uh, I'd recommend maybe, I mean, it doesn't really matter. If you're good at this part, you can do this with any vehicle, but just go ahead and grab a streetcar. Now what you want to do, drive up to your facility, as you can see, that bike, that Sanchez, is actually still on the map. So what you want to do is open up your motorcycle club menu, you see it right there, it's still on the map, alright? It's right on top of the facility basically. So open up your motorcycle club menu, request that bike, so you're going to see it right here, request the bike, and then now you want to go ahead and return it to storage. But mine spawned all the way down there, so I'm just going to back up, and I'm going to get to that point where I can return it, there we go, return to storage, alright? You want to do that because if you don't, you're going to get kicked out of the car when you do this and you have to start from the beginning. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Now, open up your interaction menu. Make sure it's open before you approach the facility. And we're going to do this little glitchy part where, you know, you drive off the facility and close the interaction menu. Now, that's basically what you're doing. And I'm going to show you where you want to basically press B or circle to close the interaction menu. It's basically right here where the back tires are almost off the facility but you know, they're still on it right there. So that's where you wanna back off. You need to be going at a medium speed. If you do it too soon and you're on the facility, you're gonna get sucked right in. I'll show you that it actually happens to me there. So watch this. So right there, I thought I might've been good. You wanna wait a few seconds, but I'm gonna go ahead and accept the alert and look what happens. I'm actually gonna get sucked right into the facility. Look at the back tires. Did you see that for a split second there? The tires were still on my facility. That's why I got sucked in. So I had to restart the glitch from the beginning, all right? So I have my streetcar, I open up my interaction menu, and I'm gonna go ahead and drive off the facility, close the interaction menu. I was, I think I was going a little bit too fast there, and I might have been a little bit too late. So, we're gonna try that again. Now, keep the interaction menu open, 
drive off the facility, press B right at the end, and I know I hit it right there, all right? So wait a few seconds. I say wait five seconds on this facility full alert, accept it, just drive away a little bit from the facility and pull up to the front. You should get sucked in automatically just like that, all right? So if done correctly, that's what will happen, all right? So now make sure that when you're going in here, you're going to get an alert saying to replace a vehicle. You want to just deny that, all right? So B and then A, circle X, all right? So now that we're at this point, remember I said you wanted that Benny's vehicle that you're duplicating inside the facility with a custom plate. So as you can see, I have a few retros in here, so I got a lot to pick from. And I have a blazer in there. That's going to be the one that I'm overriding. All right. So I have my LG Retro Custom. I'm going to hop in it right here and check it out. It has my custom plate on it. Perfect. So this part right here, don't spam Y or triangle. Don't spam. Just drive out. Once you're out, press Y. He's going to close the door. Press Y again. Just like that. That's all you want to do. You don't have to go crazy spamming it. Once he started the vehicle, you can go ahead and accept that facility full alert. It must pop up, okay? If that facility full alert isn't popping up, I realize it's actually because you got, you got out of the facility and you just started spamming wire triangle. Do not spam it. You don't want to do that. Just take it easy on that. So just press Y when he's out there. Like immediately once he's out there, just press Y once. Wait till he closes the door. Press Y again. All right? That'd be triangle on PlayStation. So now what you see me doing right here, I'm just driving away from the facility. Now, you want to drive a good distance away. I'm at Route 68, so I just drove over to the Los Santos Customs right here to the right. I thought that would be a pretty good distance, all right? I'm not sure what the exact distance is that you need to go away, but this one worked for me. So you can use this as a reference if you have another, you know, facility, or you can just do what I did if you still have the Route 68 bunker just like I do, okay? So that's all I did right there. I accepted that alert once I was back in the vehicle. I drove out. And uh, or I drove uh, far away over to the Los Santos Customs and now I'm driving back. All right. So now I'm going to drive back and I'm just going to slowly creep up over to the yellow circle. You don't want to just fly right through it. All right. So just slowly drive up to it. You're going to get a facility full alert. Go ahead and accept it. And you've basically done the entire glitch. All right. So I went through that kind of slow because I just wanted to show you guys the ins and outs and tell you what could possibly happen. But this works on both consoles. You're gonna get an option to replace. I'm gonna go ahead and replace over this blazer and boom, I have a dupe. Now, I wanted to show you guys one more time and I'll do this this last dupe super quickly so you can see how fast you can really do it because I took a lot of time there, you know? So I went ahead and I replaced that LG Retro with another blazer because I didn't have any other room in there. So I walk outside on foot. This is to rinse and repeat. I order up that Sanchez that's in the facility. Now I'm gonna drive up to the facility open up the dashboard had a little trouble there but it's all good join your friend in a different targeting mode xbox guys accept the first alert decline the second and sit on it playstation have a recent activity ready just double tap after a second or two of the uh, animation starting and then go ahead and sit on that second alert all right or go ahead and sit on that you know recent activity alert now once you're sure that the sound has stopped in the background deny the alert and then you're going to be well deny the alert and then press wire triangle to get off the bike and you're going to fall into the map okay just like that you should spawn here make sure you don't die i want this car bad there we go all right so i know i can hit the glitch really nicely with this car so that's why i took her out so now i'm going to go ahead and drive up to the facility remember that bike is still on the map so i'm going to call it up once and then i'm going to return it to storage boom we're good to go we're not going to get kicked out of the vehicle when we do this next part open up the interaction menu, go ahead and drive to the facility, be on top of it, go at a medium pace, and remember, just back out of the interaction menu right before you, your back tires leave the edge of the facility, okay? So right now, go ahead, I think I'm gonna hit it right here. Oh yeah, I definitely hit it right there. So now, wait five seconds on this alert and then accept it, all right? Now we're good to go. Just do a little loop or just go around, you know, to the front of the facility. You should get sucked in automatically just like that. And I'm going to fast forward through all these animations because nobody wants to see them. Now, go ahead and deny the replacement alert. Just cancel all that. And now remember, run up to the vehicle that you want to duplicate. You want a Benny's vehicle with custom plates. LG Retro Custom sells for the best or sells for the most, I should say. Now, remember, drive out. Don't spam Y or triangle. Just drive out. And then right when you see your car, press Y. So I'm pressing Y and now cl doors closed. I'm pressing Y again. Facility full alert should come up. Go ahead. Once the engine has started, accept that. Remember, if you're having trouble at that part with the alert not coming up, it's because you're spamming Y or triangle. Don't spam. All right. Just at a casual pace. You'll be able to hit it. Trust me. Drive the distance away. Go ahead and come back to the facility. You should get the full alert. And there you go. All right. We've made another dupe. You see how fast that was, guys? Yeah. Fast forward a little bit. So you know what? Add four, you know, add a minute or two. 
you know, to that to this last dupe. And that's as quick as you can do it, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and replace this blazer. And just like that, I've created a dupe and I've replaced it over there, and there we go. It's clean, it has a custom plate on it, it's good to sell, but not right away. Remember, this can also be used as a gift card to friends to get glitched out solo if you really wanna do that. But remember, when you drive this car out, it's gonna be bricked, it's gonna kick you out. So what you need to do to access these vehicles, just like all the other glitches in the facility we're doing, go ahead and swap characters, go to your second character, come back to your first, or restart the game, and then you will have access to the vehicle again, all right? So that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. If you did, make sure to slap that like button. Subscribe. You know, if you're brand new, turn on post notifications for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, everybody.